Welcome to Saman's Discoveries, and please support us by subscribing, liking, and revisiting our channel to check out our most recent videos. Today we introduce you to the Burunj people and discuss their history and way of life. The Burunj or Burungi, Warbalungi and Swahili, are a Kushi ethnic group who are part of an Iraqi community based in the Chambara district of central Tanzania's Dodoma region. Their mother tongue is Burunj, which is a member of the South Cushitic branch of the Afro-Asiatic language family. Burunj had a population of about 13,000 people in 2002. Six tribes were featured here, including the Bantu-speaking Mbag, Nyaramba, and Nyatru, as well as the non-Bantu tribes Masai, Totoka, and Iraku. They are tribes with distinct lifestyles, customs, and attire that not only preserve and demonstrate their traditions and their livelihoods, but also symbolize three of Africa's four major language families, Bantus, Nilotics, and Kushtiks. Traditionally, the Burunj tribe's music was the most popular form of art in their community. Music was being played at all hours of the day and night. Music wasn't created for its own sake. Music was functional. It was used for ceremonial, religious, political, or incidental reasons. Their music was used at funerals to praise the departed, console the bereaved, keep people awake at night, express pain and agony, and to cleanse and ward off spirits. Burunj people's music was also played during ceremonies such as beer parties, welcoming back warriors from a war, wrestling matches, courtships, and more. Burunj, which serves as a language and distinct designation of peoples, is in danger of disappearing as a result of the power of Swahili in Tanzania. The small population of Burunj speakers, and the Burunj clan of approximately 13,000 being absorbed into stronger, more populous clans. The Rangi are one such clan, they are a neighboring clan with their particular language, and not only do they have a greater number of people than the Burunj, but they are also more economically advantageous. The Rangi have subgroup clubs within their clan where male Burunji members can officially join to become Rangi clan members. Once a member, they must give up their Burunji identity and become completely Rangi by marrying a Rangi woman and raising their children as Rangi. Many Burunji have teamed up with the Rangi in this manner over the last few decades, so it is unclear whether Burunji as a people and language group will keep on existing as a separate and identifiable culture, as new future generations born of both Burunji and Rangi heritage will be seen and taught only Rangi language language and culture. Work songs also existed. These were performed both during communal work like building and reading, as well as individual work like pounding. The Burunji are part of Tanzania's southern Kushites. Their ancestors are thought to have come from southern Ethiopia and settled in Tanzania's northeastern region around 1000 BC. After migrating to Tanzania, the ancient Burunj culture focused on agriculture for sustenance and feeding their cattle. Thank you for taking your time to watch the entire video. Please subscribe, like, and then come back to our channel to watch our latest videos.